I'm feeling mean, I'm feeling mean. Okay, on these, you're gonna uh, it'll come with a little kit. So I to, uh, it's an updated kit for your wiring. They're all color coded, so it's pretty self explanatory. You're gonna hook it. This one right here. Your other one stays the same, sending unit, but this one's gonna be different. It's gonna be a bigger plug, and you gotta change it or it won't fit on the fuel pump. So they changed the fuel pump, they updated it with a bigger. Play like that. So basically you just your wires are already spliced for you, you get butt connectors. So you're just gonna be putting this on this. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. No big deal. It's gonna look something like this. You just color code them, put your new one on, and uh, I put a little electric tape sometimes on it. Just uh, you sure don't want no metal showing or anything like that. Just crimp them. They're color coded. Put that on. That's your new updated thing, and then we'll start putting the pump in here.
little bit easier when you drain the gas out of it. <laughs> Make sure you hook all your lines up. You don't have your fuel filter, which is self-explanatory. You got one. The feed's always bigger than return. So you'll have the big one there on the filter and the small one on the return. You evap canister, put that hose back on. Of course, your filler hose, put it on. I did one strap first. And if you empty the gas tank, it's real simple. Just You can muscle it because it don't weigh nothing without gas. Just push it up in there and get one bolt started. And that way you can kind of, like I got the jack, you can just jack up the other one, put the uh, brace on there. But by the time I did this one would be about the time that you would cut into the back. And so I, I just don't understand why people keep tearing their cars up doing that when this is not that bad. Anyway, let's get it together and see what happens. Okay, you put your heat, put your heat shield back on. And this is what it look like when you're done. Two straps, heat shield. You get your two lines there. And of course you fill and you evap. No big deal. But uh let's see how things go. Tins Auto, yeah, come on. Thanks for watching. I got another one over here. I'll be doing the other side. I will make a video of it next. It's almost the same car, just a little bit newer.